Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing very beautiful back neck design top with you guys. I just hope you will like this video and uh, please do share your reviews with me in the comment section. I would love to read it. So let's get started. This is a measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I have taken 1 meter rayon fabric as width of this fabric is around 58 inch. If you are using normal 40 inch wide fabric then you will need around 1.5 to 2 meters of fabric depending on the size you are making. Firstly I will cut the bodies. I have cut out the required length including seam allowance from the fabric. This is 15 inch in length. I have folded the fabric twice in width but the width is more than required so I will just refold the fabric according to the required width. In this way we can save the fabric for facing or bias tape. So I have folded the fabric now I will mark the measurements. Usually for shoulder we take half of shoulder width. But in this top, I'm making boat neck for front and back neck is 11 inch deep. So neck is broad as well as deep. So I'll deduct half inch. Like in my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it is 6.75 inch and I'll deduct half inch. So I'll mark a point at 6.25 inch. Neck width is 4 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch for my measurement I am deducting half inch as this is sleeveless top. I will just extend this point. Mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. From the top, mark a point at 10.5 inch and 14.5 inch. Extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement chest round is 31 inch, 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 I will get 8.25 inch. For burst I am adding 3 inch of ease, in my measurement burst round is 32 inch, 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I will get 8.75 inch. For waist I am adding 2 inch of ease, in my measurement waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 2 is 30 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 7.5 inch. Now I'll join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Adding seam allowance. Now I'll draw armhole curves. So marking is done, now I'll cut it. To cut the front armhole curve, separate the back. Fold the front bodies again. And now I'll cut the front armhole curve. Neck width is 4 inch and front neck depth is 3 inch. Adding half inch for seam allowance. Now I'll 
Again mark neck width 3 inch and join these points. Now I'll draw both neck shape. And now I'll cut it. For back, neck width is same 4 inch and neck depth is 11 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again mark neck width point and join these points. Now I'll draw V shaped neckline for back and cut it. So I have cut the bodies, now I will cut the bottom. For bottom, I have cut out the required length including seam allowance from the fabric. Length will be full length of top minus bodies. Like in my measurement, full length of top is 27 inch and bodies length is 14 inch. So 27 minus 14 is 13 inch. I have added 1 inch for seam allowance. This is 14 inch in length and width is 15 inch. I have taken extra fabric for gathers. So this is the bottom of the top. Now I will cut the ruffle. I am adding ruffle only on the back neckline. Firstly I will cut out the back from the center. Now measure the ruffle length, this is 12 inch, add 1.5 inch of seam allowance. So 12 plus 1.5 is 13.5, double it, 13.5 into 2 is 27 inch, double it again because I will be adding gathers in the ruffle and for width I will attach ruffle in shoulder seam so width should match shoulder this is 2 inch so ready width for ruffle is 2 inch now I'll cut the ruffle I folded the fabric twice in width 2 inch is ready width adding 0.75 inch for seam allowance Now I'll cut it. So this is ruffle for my top. Fold it by half in width and cut it. So now we have two ruffles. And with this cutting is complete. Now I'll stitch the top. Firstly I'll finish the ruffle. Just double fold the fabric and make a stitch. On the other side, I'll make a basting stitch to add gathers.
Similarly, I'll finish other ruffle. Pull the bobbin thread and adjust gathers according to required length. And this is how it will look. Now I'll make a stitch. Similarly, I'll stitch ruffle on the other side of the neckline. Now I'll stitch ruffle on the shoulder. So I have attached the ruffle on both sides. Now I'll trim the excess fabric. Now place the front on the back right sides together and stitch shoulder slope on both sides. Overlock it. I have stitched shoulder slope on both sides. Now I'll finish the neckline and armholes using bias tape. I already have a detailed video on the same. I've shared the link in the description box. You can check it out from there. I have attached right side of bias tape on the wrong side of bodies. And I have made cuts only on the front neckline as this is boat neck shape, it has curve. No need to mark cuts on the back neckline. Now turn around the bias tape on the right side of bodies, fold the seam allowance and make a stitch. Similarly, I'll finish armholes. So I have finished neckline and armholes. Now I'll stitch this center seam. I made belt from the same fabric which I'll insert into this seam. So 
so I have placed and pinned up the belt now cover the other side and make a stitch so bodice is ready now I'll finish the bottom of the top I'll finish bottom round and on this side I'll make basting stitch for gathers to finish bottom just double fold the fabric and make a stitch Now I'm making basting stitch. Now I'll attach the bodies and bottom. Adjust the gathers on the bottom according to the body's waist. Now place the bottom on the bodies right sides together and make a stitch Overlock it. Now keep seam allowance direction upwards or towards the bodies and make a top stitch. Similarly, I'll attach other side. Lastly, I'll stitch side fitting seam on both sides. My top is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.